Good morning, folks. The solar flaring uptick continues in the exact fashion it began. We'll show you those flares and something just as cool in the plasma filament realm before hitting today's articles. We also have the dark coronal hole patches firmly in view facing Earth today. With the impulsivity of the flaring and lack of big CMEs, they are the better chance of affecting the solar wind. But alas, we do continue to see the southern departing active region firing M-class flares. It's had an incredible run the last two days as it trudges across the Earth-facing half of our star. Using 94 angstroms wholly focused on X-ray light, we show those flare flashes where their short duration, their impulsive nature, keeps plasma from ejecting in all but the smallest fashion. Also appears to be minor flaring at the trailing groups as well. A gorgeous moment is happening simultaneously on the north, where a prominence surrounding an incoming active region was sitting calmly until this morning. Plasma filament standing tall, very tall, readying to release into space. Hello. Let's begin the articles with Hubble, which just spotted two water worlds. These exoplanets are like Earth on steroids. They have their rocky and metallic interiors, but are covered in water with heavily water vapor-laden atmospheres. The list of planets that could theoretically support a biosphere grows by the day, it seems. For the second day in a row, I applaud Electroverse. This article on cold hitting the world is even better than the one we shared yesterday. Indeed, if you are somewhere it's warm right now, be thankful seriously, because there's some serious cold happening on the planet at this time. Up next, we're looking at how Ganymede's magnetic field interacts with Jupiter's magnetic field, including the magnetic connections between the two. These magnetic connections are just like the ones the planets have to the sun, and which the stars have to the galaxy. Speaking of which, I will never ever get tired of reading about how the astronomers studying the galactic magnetic field can only conclude that they are seeing evidence of a large-scale ordered magnetic field instead of a random chaotic one. This large-scale field is like every other one we see with giant spinning magnetic bodies in space. The polar fields wrap around in the equatorial fields that run through the midplane and which wave up and down with a current sheet electric field and breakouts of Parker instability. This is, of course, the current sheet we discuss all the time in Catastrophism, where the north and south magnetic fields are separated. Our solar system is going through a galactic magnetic reversal right now as we're being hit by the Milky Way's current sheet, and it is causing the changes we're seeing on all the planets and the sun, including the magnetic pole shift here on Earth. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn about the ongoing reset of Earth's disaster cycle at the links, the books, and the playlist below the video. Book your one-on-one -on -one call with me or check out our websites. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.